Katie Keel's mother has rejected multiple interview requests because of her cultural and religious beliefs. But the Afghani mother did speak with R. Yami Virhin this week as sadness and frustration boil over the disappearance of her three-year-old daughter. In this home, the family sits on a Persian rug. They speak English and the language of their native home, Afghanistan. And women do not go on camera for interviews. To be sensitive to their religious and cultural beliefs, you will only hear Sarmina Keel, little Lena Keel's mother. Luan, that day, what does she remember? Where she left her and then when she came back? What does she remember of that day? While sitting to one side away from the camera lens, Sarmina responds through a family interpreter. She was playing with her brother outside in the playground and I was over there. At one time I saw her on the back over there so when I saw her there she think that she will come back but you know after a while I feel that she's not over there and she didn't come so I went in search of her to find her in surrounding areas and also I came back to the apartment to check in apartment when I didn't find then I called my husband and my husband came he also searched. She asked different children playing outside if they had seen Lena they said no so she went to the different buildings in the complex where their relatives and friends live and they said they had not seen Lena. <laughs> First when she was missing so I was thinking that we will find her and she will come back because she was thinking that maybe she is in somebody's Afghan community family. She will go over there and uh, she will come back. Uh, by the morning 10 a.m. when she didn't come back, so I thought she's missing and disappeared and maybe abducted. After six weeks, the 24-year-old mother, who's four months pregnant, says she cannot believe Lena has not been found and she's feeling hopeless. I was thinking that the United States of America and FBI is involved, so they are more powerful and they have more uh, resources uh, rather than Afghanistan. Sarmina tells us there is no happiness, no laughter, and no peace for her until her daughter comes back. Every day I'm, it's just her in my mind is going, uh, going on. And um, I still feel that I will, she will come back. And I'm, I'm, uh, my life right now is in the wait of returning back of Lena. And Lena is a small child. He didn't do anything wrong. Or, and she was a minor and she was a normal kid and very nice kid so I say to people that return my child as soon as possible. She feels her daughter must be crying for her and wondering where is my mother, where is my family and she fears that whoever has her will keep her as their own forever. Um, She's thinking that she may be with somebody who is uh, who is taking care of the child, and uh, maybe they will trying to forget the parent and continue your life. Um, so he's thinking that where, where, wherever she is, maybe this guy is rich and she will take care of uh, the child, and he will try to forget her uh, her mem uh, parents. Before this, Armina believed she and her children were in the safest place in the world. She never imagined something like this could happen. This person to return our child and return whatever he want we will give. And this is the pain that it will not end until we find Lena. Zarmina asked that we allow her voice in their native tongue to air so she could send a message to her child who does not speak English in case she can hear her. We are very sad that you are not with us and, uh, and we want you back in our home, in our life. And 
we are missing you and we are trying our best to get you back home.